Welcome back to Hans's Custom Shop. Super exciting day. I've got the truck pulled out of the shop today. I know I haven't introduced the truck on YouTube yet, although there are a bunch of posts on my Instagram page. Definitely stay tuned though uh, to the YouTube channel here because there's going to be a bunch more videos about this truck. It's a 1949 Diamond T306, uh, but today's video is all about the engine. This is a Detroit Diesel 453T, uh, so that's four cylinders in line. Uh, 53 cubic inches of displacement per cylinder, and this particular model has a turbocharger. Uh, now these engines aren't built anymore, however they were popular in trucks and boats, uh, construction equipment, and stationary equipment like pumps and generators. Um, I bought this engine in 2016, it had come out of a truck that had rolled. Uh, it was rebuilt in 2017, and I did start it on the stand for a few seconds back then, but it hasn't run since. For the Detroit nerds, uh, this engine was rebuilt with crosshead pistons, 7A77 injectors, uh, and that's a silver turbo over there. Uh, I do have Jacobs brakes on the engine. They're very hard to find for this engine, but I do have them. I'm not going to be operating the Jakes today, uh, but stay tuned because you're not going to want to miss videos with the Jakes. Uh, let's see, I do have water in the engine. Um, in fact, that's why I'm starting it today. There is some coolant system cleaning chemical in the water. I just want to make sure and get all the rust deposits out of the internal passages of the engine before I install my new radiator and plumbing. You might see a few little water leaks here and there. It's kind of kind of hokey starting an engine like this with water in it and without the rest of the plumbing. But it should be good. Um, I do have most of the electrical system finished, so I'll be monitoring oil, oil pressure and coolant temperature inside the cab. Um, and I have redone all the fuel system on this truck, so. I've done my best to prime fuel into the fuel pump, but I'm guessing it's going to have to crank for a little bit before I get fuel up into the engine. So with all that said, let's stop talking and give it a shot. <laughs> 